Mm. Twizzlers. Hey there, and welcome to the show, the only show, I might add, that's baked at 500 degrees and then never touched again by human hands before we leave it on your doorstep. My name is Gino. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Well, as wonderful of a week as you can have uh, hiding inside your house from a deadly pandemic. Pan- ban- ban- pandemic. How do you say that word? Pandemic. Easter was this past weekend, and if you're anything like me, you ate all the Reese eggs like three weeks ago, so it was a very somber holiday, to say the least. I thought about having some fun and doing like a fun Easter egg hunt in the house, but then I realized I'm too tired for that. I spend most of the day as it is trying to find the TV remote, so that's enough hunting for me. And 100% of the time when I lose the TV remote, I'm usually sitting on it. You know, I have noticed a couple of things, though, with all the other shows that are taping from home. First of all, they've all slightly changed their names. Like, for instance, Saturday Night Live is now Saturday Night Live at home. Uh, We have Conan from home, Jimmy Kimmel live from his house, The Tonight Show at home edition. And then it dawned on me, I don't even have a name for this show. So I've thought long and hard about it over the past 18 days. I've molded over. I've spent thousands of dollars with marketing teams trying to come up with the best thing. And I think we have a brand new name for you right now. The name of this show is Gino at Home. I was also thinking about maybe calling it The Gino Show Starring Gino, which might be a little egomaniacal, but we'll see. Or, or, kind of like this one. It's a little morbid, but The End of the World with Gino. So I guess we don't really have a name yet. We have three choices for a name. Why don't you comment below which you like, Gino at Home, The Gino Show Starry Gino, or The End of the World with Gino, and then we'll announce what the winner and the name of the show is next week, all right? For now, I'm just gonna call it Gino at Home at the End of the World, starring Gino. Another thing I've noticed about these shows is they all have a comforting home-like setting behind them. Maybe some of them are shooting their show from their offices or their bedrooms, and it's nice and subtle. Last week, I had this like late-night TV extravagant set behind me, and uh, it seemed to be a little much. I think the more subtle, comforting home backgrounds are really resonating with people during this time. So, I've thought long and hard about it. I spent $18,000 on this wonderful green screen technology behind me. I don't want that to go to waste. So here now for the very first time is the new background of our set. Uh Uh-huh. It's this room projected on the green screen behind me. So nothing's going to waste and uh, we're utilizing cutting edge technology here. Brilliant, right? Hey, speaking of all these talk shows, have you seen this guy Jim from The Office, the guy who used to do all the faces to the camera during the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That guy, Jim from The Office, he has a new TV show now to try to compete with mine. His is called Good News. It's a dumb idea, right? It's all positive, uplifting stories. And he gets like two million hits on his show in like a 24 hour period. Probably out out of pity, I would think. But either way, it's a dumb idea. Nobody likes positive, uplifting stories, Jimbo. So uh, give it a rest. (laughs) All right, time now for a brand new segment on our show called Happy News. This has nothing to do with good news. That's its own separate thing. This is my idea, happy news. I came up with it like a month ago. So here's some happy news for the day. After starting out with a shortage of coronavirus tests, a record number of people now have now been tested for the coronavirus. Just how high is that number, you ask? Well, let's ask the expert. We've uh, performed 1.87 1.87 million tests today, so that's 1,870,000 million tests. Wow, 1,870,000 million people have now been tested for the coronavirus. That's amazing. I'm not good at math, but I looked it up, and that number, assuming it's true, which it must be, is actually 1,870,000,000 people have now been tested. So go USA. It's too bad Trump wasn't the one who actually filled out our stimulus check or we'd all get like $1,200,000,000. This morning I had breaking news texted to my phone that Bernie Sanders and Barack Obama have now endorsed Joe Biden for president, but like, who else were they going to endorse? Biden's the last guy left. It's like waiting for the Super Bowl to announce your favorite football team. I don't need this 
broadcasted to my phone immediately when I wake up, CNN. When I signed up for these alerts, I thought, you know, it's an alert for something big like a meteor coming to Earth or a war breaking out or Michael Jackson coming back from the dead. I don't need you to text me every time Chris Cuomo farts. Although, unless you have it on video, because that would actually be pretty funny. Hey, that reminds me, we have another brand new segment for you to give you your money's worth. This time, it's News from the Future, sponsored by Old Country Buffet. So, I hope you appreciate this segment, because it's not very easy to do. First of all, I have to rent a time machine, which is not cheap. Then I have to go into the future, take a picture of the headline of the day, come back, in time for this show, completely undetected, so I don't screw up the whole space-time continuum. And uh, I don't know, it's a lot of work. I just hope it's worth it. So, with that being said, let's check out the news from the future. Today's news comes to us from the cover of the New York Post on April 14th, 2026. That's six years from now. Are you ready for this? The cover of the New York Post in 2026 reads, What a boob. 68-year-old President Andrew Cuomo is hospitalized yet again for a nipple ring infection. The president said he started to feel lightheaded and itchy after snagging his nipple rings on a cardigan sweater over the weekend, but thought nothing of it. On Monday afternoon, he was admitted to Carson Daly Memorial Hospital, where he remained overnight. This is the third time President Cuomo has been hospitalized for nipple ring-related complications. When he addressed the issue last night on TikTok, the president said, The nipple rings are a part of me and I refuse to take them out. That story is insane, right? Who knew they would name a hospital after Carson Daly? This has been a brand new segment we'll probably never do again called News from the Future. All right, let's check out some headlines from the world of entertainment. Good Morning America anchor George Stephanopoulos has just been diagnosed with the coronavirus. Coronavirus. Uh, which means if you or your loved ones have watched Good Morning America anytime in the past 14 days, especially if you sit too close to the TV, you might want to self-quarantine and you might want to get tested because this virus can can go through the TV now. That's what I, that's what I read on, a, on Reddit earlier. In other entertainment news, Tiger King released a brand new eighth episode this past week. So if you're keeping score at home, that's now eight episodes I'm not going to watch. Uh, and our last entertainment headline of the day says, Jimmy Fallon and Justin Timberlake team up for a funky quarantine remix. No thank you. And that was entertainment news. Hey, before we say goodbye, let's uh, read this week's fan mail. I'm not going to lie. It was a pretty, pretty slow week for fan mail for the old inbox. Uh, our first piece of email comes to us from Old Navy. And Old Navy says, hey, Gino, all dresses are up to 60% off this weekend. I don't know what I bought the last time I was at Old Navy, but they keep sending me advertisements for uh, women's clothes. But uh, I wish they'd stop. And that's like all the fan mail I got this week. I mean, the other day I took a long time in the bathroom and my girlfriend texted me and said, are you okay in there? But I don't know if that really counts as fan mail, right? So anyway, if you'd like to send me some fan mail or even some hate mail for that matter, you can do it uh, by commenting on the video below, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, and, uh, and I'll reply to it next week for you. And remember to also vote for the name of the show. Your options are... Gino at Home, The Gino Show Starring Gino, or The End of the World with Gino, and we'll have a brand new name for you for this show next week. It's been another great show, if I don't say so myself. Have a great day. Like, subscribe, share this if you want. If not, just stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Hey, if you like this video or even if you hated it, please, either way, subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends, and uh, if you do, you'll be entered to win an autographed package of ramen noodles autographed by me. So, uh, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.